Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed and gonna take a look in on the African night crawlers and uh, see if they're ready for some food food. Kinda scrounge through here and see what they've done with the, the bedding. It's kind of a little dry. Seeing a couple of worms. But let's let's take a look here and see what's underneath. They've been getting leaves for the most part and paper bedding, as you can see. But I haven't fed them any food food for almost a month now. Um, so I think it's time. I got in the deep freezer and found some more apple goo. And so I'm going to fluff them up here. It is a little bit dry, but once I put that apple goo in, it is going to be game on. It is going to be probably pretty wet. So you can see how small they are. Um, but there is the, the noticeable difference between them and the blue worms, being that they do have like the clitellum, and the blue worms don't have a noticeable color change in their clitellum versus the rest of their body. So, not seeing a ton of worms, certainly not big ones. So it's time to, to get them eating some real food now. Hopefully they've finished up all the large chunks down below. And, oh, looks like we got another avocado doing its thing or, let's see, two. Two avocados doing their thing. Digging down a little deeper, still got more worms. Some bigger worms down deep, but they've really made quick work of that bedding, the leaf bedding anyway. So, there's the that's how you know when they're really almost done with the mango pits. Oh, make that three avocado trees that they're trying to grow. Those bags. Still making, making headway. I'm just going to keep tearing them up a little bit every time I find them, and hopefully we'll get somewhere. But today, I'm going to give them a big feeding to get them started before I go on vacation. So I'm going to put it just on this part here, but it's going to be quite a bit. So, got in the deep freeze, as I said, and I found some apple goo. So this is about a gallon of apple goo mixed with coffee grounds and shredded paper from work. Also some ground up orange peels, banana peels. You can kind of see, it's not quite the, the fine puree, but you can, you can see how wet it is. So this is certainly going to make an impact on the overall moisture of the bin for the better. So I'm going to spread that out then. Then I'm going to put their leaf bedding over. Tuck these darn green bags back in. And then I imagine that we're going to see quite a big difference in this bag and how many worms I can find when I look in this bag again in a week or so. So, not super exciting, but it is progress, and of course, worm farming is not always exciting. It is the maintenance that you do on them so that you get what you're looking for, which is compost or castings to take care of your plants, which is why I'm plant-obsessed and not worm-obsessed. Believe it or not, this is still all about my plants. Um, bonsais, ornamentals outside, my... Um, trees, obviously the apple trees benefit greatly 
So I know a lot of people are like, why are you plant obsessed and not planet obsessed or carbon footprint obsessed? Well, no, it's still really all about the plants. This has just kind of been a side shoot that is taking over quite a bit of my time. But if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. And hit that little notification bell if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. And I will try and link up top some point in the video so that you can get the playlist for this bag with the African Nightcrawlers that are the Urban Worm Bag. Alright guys, well thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.